this little village right here which is on the other side of the mountains where I just was so I crossed the uh, valley let's say and now I'm up here and this is the village of Gega one of the places I still want to cross off my list here in the uh, well deepest area of Bulgaria it takes a couple of hours to get here from Sofia so needed to dedicate a special trip to this part of the country the real southwest and an old abandoned well what is it it's not a house I suppose I can't read the sign anymore it used to be an official building of some kind still see an old lamp some asbestos toilets in the back yeah, that's all that's left the common areas of the village are crumbling apart so here in the village of Gega I've found this rare rare site this is a school which is abandoned that's not very rare but the signs are still on here and that's quite unique SBP, what does it stand for? Socialist party or something? I have no idea. Oh, this is all still intact. Oh, quite rare. School is called after Anton Nikolov Popov, who lived until 1942 and he said, I would die for a new world. that would light up in such a brightness that my death for it would mean nothing or something like that. Well, I can't translate it very pro poetically. Here, a hundred year old school. This, uh, the celebration of a hundred years was in 1979. And here we see uh, well, a hundred year of uh, teaching, let's say, we see the first letters of the Bulgarian alphabet, A, B, V. Yeah, that's how the alphabet goes, A, B, V, and then continues. A bit different than in uh, Latin. And the school inside right here. Once it was full of pupils for a hundred years, continuously. And now somehow we've dropped the ball and there's uh, nobody. Well, well, that's too bad. It's remarkable that it's still intact. Quite rare, quite rare. And here's the backside of the school. We can just see how incredibly big it was once. Or well, it still is, but... I mean, you can just see the proportions and the function that it once served. Now in the back all there is is this uh, little farm of the neighbors of the school. The pigs are all going quiet after they saw me. Probably they expect some food but I don't have any. I'm a bit afraid of dogs though. Yeah, pretty cool right here. Wow. they're all quite hungry and during the second world war we had a partisan army right here which a committee was set up here in uh, 1944 sort of a political building right at the back of the school and inside I see a nice portrait hanging which is also quite rare because that would be gone nowadays who is that? I'm honestly not sure. I'm honestly not sure. Rare. Wow, there's even chairs indoors. It was a spectator room. That's very, very rare. I've never seen something intact like this. <laughs> Probably a building still used in some shape or form. Just having a peek through a hole in the door. 
Can you see the parts a little bit better? If anyone knows who this is, please leave a comment. Because I've honestly no idea. Judging by the style of the clothes, it must be someone from the era of 1944 about that.